Hey, 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 what's going on, Odooers? Today, I'm going to show you Odoo's barcode app and how it can help facilitate the manufacturing process. Specifically, we're going to see how Odoo lets you scan barcodes to open, process, and cancel manufacturing orders, or MOs. Using barcodes to open MOs is more convenient if you don't want to mess around on a tablet in the middle of a building process. Imagine if, while on the shop floor, you had to go to your computer every time something was being produced in order to track the components. Sounds pretty impractical. But with a scanner, you can stay with the production team and simply scan the components as you're building the finished product. Now that you know how Odoo's barcode app can help you with manufacturing, let's see how it works. There's one quick setting we need to enable to scan barcodes. So I'm just gonna hop into my settings application and click on inventory in our left side navigation menu. Once we're here, we're just gonna find the barcode section and we wanna make sure that the barcode scanner setting is enabled. This looks fine, so I'll head back to our main Odoo dashboard. One of the coolest parts about the barcode app is that you can process orders without entering the manufacturing app. That said, I'll show you how to create a new MO just as a refresher. So let's head to the manufacturing app. And in a make to order manufacturing situation, MOs are triggered when a sales order is confirmed. But at Stealthy Wood, we like to have a safety stock for our most popular products, so we often generate MOs manually. To access my manufacturing orders, I'm just going to click Operations at the top, followed by Manufacturing Orders, and this shows us all the existing MOs that we currently have. To create a new one, I'm just going to click New at the upper left-hand corner. Lately, we've been selling out of our floor-length teak wood mirrors, a lot of people are doing last-minute fit checks, slay, so I'm going to set the product field to Teak Wood Mirror. And let's say we need to produce around 10 mirrors, so I'm just gonna update this quantity here to 10. As you can see, Odoo populates the components that are needed to make this mirror based off of the bill of materials selected. It also shows how many of those components will be used to make this product. Everything else looks fine, so I'm just gonna click Confirm here in the upper left-hand corner for this MO. Now, we have an official MO number. And when I click this gear icon here at the top, I can go ahead and print this production order. I'll need this later on to scan my MO's barcode, so make sure to print this. Give me one minute, I have to go borrow my friend's printer. All right, now that I have my MO's barcode ready, let's head to the barcode app. first step of the manufacturing process in barcode is to find the right manufacturing order. There are two ways to achieve this through the barcode app. First, we can click this operations button, and then the manufacturing card. And this shows us all of the MOs in our system. And all I'd have to do is click the one that I want to process. Or I could go back to the barcode dashboard via the breadcrumbs and use my handy dandy barcode scanner to scan our MO. What we see here are 10 mirrors that we want to manufacture, as well as the components from the bill of materials. Now at this point in the manufacturing process, we want to build the mirrors. While I'm actively building the mirror, I'll register the components I'm using to keep track of them. There are a few different ways to do this, including just by clicking this plus 10 button here on the right. Or most likely, you want to use your barcode scanner, so I'll just scan the barcode of our mirror, and that'll register the production of these mirrors. To learn more, watch our tutorial on consuming and scrapping components using barcodes. Before we officially close this MO, you should know that you can also cancel MOs from this screen. Click on the gear icon at the top right, and you can see the last button in here allows you to cancel the MO. But we don't actually want to cancel this, so I'm just going to use the back arrow to get back to this screen. And great, now we're ready to close out the MO. So I'm just going to click Produce All. And then we receive a message saying the MO has been validated. The mirrors have now been put together and are on the shop floor. Talk about vanity projects. Don't forget to check out our tutorials and documentation on manufacturing orders. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.